Welcome back, Roasties, to Let It Ride, the punting show for everyone. Uh, the average punter, the uh, huge corporate punter, whoever you are, we are the show for you. Uh, round 23 of the NRL, we are back. Um, and right beside me is the main man, the handsome one, Hammy G. Round 23, mate. We are here, the business end of the season. Three rounds to go. It's it's heating up, mate. It's very, it's heating up big time. What an what an intro. It's uh it's it's emotional. It's um three rounds to go, point end of the season. The Tigers are now the favourites for the spoon. Not loving that, but uh, you know, pl- plenty going on with the footy. Plenty of good wins for you as well, Roasty, over the weekend. I probably didn't have my best weekend. My mind was all elsewhere, obviously running the city to surf. It's taken me all of about 30 seconds to bring up the fact that I did the City to Surf on the show, but I did do it. Is the City to um, Surf this year that your uh, Dane Gay guy bet, man of the match bet for uh, 2018? Is that? Yeah, you'll be, yeah. You'll be, hearing, you'll be hearing about this for a while. Um, <laughs> I noticed a, f- a few uh, NRL players, I, I think the Fox did it as well as a, so part of some act, sort of activation for Puma. He was out there. Um, I don't know if anyone, if any other ones did it. They wouldn't have been hanging around in my shit slow group at the back, but yeah. Uh, Sure, there's a few more. Great event. If you haven't done it, go and do it. I'm not a very good runner, but um, managed to run the whole way, which was good. Um, so a big tick if you backed me for um, run the run the whole way. But uh, yeah, beyond that, my punting wasn't very good, Roasty. So I'm, I'm a bit more focused this week. I've done a bit more research, a bit more homework. So hopefully we're in a better spot this week. Is it, I've never been to the city or watched it. Obviously, if anyone's seen my physique, they know that I definitely have ne- never ran it. Um, but is it um, plenty of people dress up, have a bit of fun with it? Yeah, they do. They do. And a very, very good, uh, great morale the whole way. Every couple of kilometres, there's DJs or a band playing and people getting around you. A lot of encouragement, a lot of support, a lot of good views. Um, very good events. So don't, don't get put off if you're not a great runner. Lots of average runners in amongst it all. So just, just get out there and uh, good one to tick off the bucket list. Yeah, I might have to do it. I might have to uh, – I believe there's like a pub crawl you can do along the way as well. So that might, might uh, yes. be more my areas. I'll, uh, yeah, more your speed. Start at um, – what is it, uh, Sunday or Saturday? Start at early Sunday and um, – Sunday, yeah. Yeah, finish the next Sunday, I reckon. Um, <laughs> could be a long Very week. Good. The um, special. Yeah, mate, on last week, I did have some, I did have some good winners. Uh, overall, probably uh, the week wasn't that great, but – yeah, had some decent winners, which I, I wanted to point out. I had, um, you know, Cobo for a couple of tries, which had yep. some value there. We spoke about that one, but I think my big play that I, I wanted to talk about was the Titans upset. Picked that. I picked you uh, did. Bo Bo Fermo to to get over the stripe, and and he did that for me as well. So, and didn't you carry on about it, sending me a big voice note about it, and uh, and what have you? But uh, credit I, to you, mate. You, I, you I did, did. You did. You put I, it on the line on the pod, so. I didn't. Um, I, I, when he scored, that was three legs of my KFC uh, Zinger oh. box multi, and I was uh, like the urge to text you and say, "Man, I'm three for four here. I'm three for four here, and go the early crow." Yeah. Uh, I didn't because I bagged you about it, so I held off. But disappointing there. A little bit of a bad beat, uh, and even someone in the comments actually came back and said, "Yeah, this is one of the one of the worst beats because I had Saab to score." And against the Titans, yeah. he, he should have he should have got it. Goes off injured in the 60th minute. The worst thing is Cooler moves to the wing and scores in his position 10 minutes later. So mugs, yeah. mugs, yeah. mugs game roasty. I think yeah. I'm, I'm. I really want to claim it. I want to get, but I'm like I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to. You can't I, claim it, mate. Can't sorry. claim it. But I really want to. But uh, very close to getting my first um, Zinger box multi. Hopefully, I join you one day, Hemi. Hopefully, Hang in there, this, mate. this week, mate. I'm. I'm Coming back, but um, mate, I've yeah. got to. Got to uh, oh, hey, I had a few winners. Do you want to hear about them? Yeah, many, I, but... okay. If you if you want to go on, yeah, let's go. Cozy, cozy, three games in a row. became four games in a row. I want to. I want to. I want to stop you right there, just after that, because we had a, a YouTube comment yep. about about this, about your uh, pun for cozy. Yep. What was it? Four in a row. Yep. Three in a row. Whatever it was. Yep. Um, I think you need to be penalised for that that uh, pun. So. What the penalty yeah, is, why, I'm why not I sure yet. The, the, why do I need to be penalised? I just, have a pun. I just, I just, he scored three in a row, I think it's bad. But it's typical, typical Hammy. You, if anyone you knows Hammy. Or the, or the YouTube commenter. 
The YouTube comment said penalty for this and actually time stamped it in the YouTube comments, clicked it, yeah. and I had, to, I had to listen to it again. And now you've brought it up again. So, look, hey, I'll leave it up to the punters. Whatever you think, uh, a penalty for a pun, a, a, uh, a penalty. Oh, <laughs> that's Ted in the bin. That's, that's me off, yeah. No. That's on report. What else did you that's have? That's on report. I want to hear that same comment eh, in the comments on YouTube this week. Time stamped. Yeah, where that one sits on the scale. That that for me is um intentional, uh reckless and severe, that one. So it's a professional foul straight to the judiciary. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, let, let's not let's not let the, the fact distract that I, I picked uh Cozy to score and he did. So uh he's probably gonna feature later again. Johnson I had, but you can't you can hardly claim that these days. It's just you know, it's a bit of a given that, that Johnson's gonna score, so I won't I won't go too nuts on claiming that. And I said the Roosters were going to hit their straps and keep winning against the Cowboys, which they did. Um, I said the Sharks about the Tigers, but again, that's 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 pretty obvious. Um, I said that the uh, Broncos would beat the Knights 13 plus, which happened. And I went with the Raiders to beat the Dragons as well. I also had Ruben Garrick to score at any stage in the uh, the Titans mainly game. So a couple there, not my best, no big ones to really write home about, but there was a little bit of, a few little ones there scattered amongst it um, across the weekend. No, mate, a couple, couple of decent ones there, worthy of, a, worthy of a crow. Now, I have to go back over the weekend. As uh, followers of the Rose page know that I'm a significant uh, big boy season fan yep. um, and promote it uh, to full effect. But this last week, it, big boy season was back, baby. Uh, seven out of eight games had a prop score. Now, I want to bring this oh, up yeah. because it is going to feature in, in some of my punts later on. Uh, I'll, I'll run through them. Uh, Cheese, he scored. He's a hooker, oh, yeah. but he's up in the front row. And what a try that was as well. God, it was, yeah. yeah. Breaking ankles at the back there. Uh, Adam Fanil Blake uh, yep. for, the, for the Warriors. Roosters Lodge and Jared Ray Hargraves both crossed over. Uh, Reese Robson for the Cowboys up in the front row in, in the hooking position or, or, or when he plays at lock as well. Uh, Roycey Hunt and Braden Hem, Hamlin Ueli uh, for the Sharkies. So back to back games had both prop score, which was massive. Uh, for the Knights, Daniel Saifidi, Ryan Sutton off the bench for the Raiders, and Jamlin Jolliffe uh, and Jake Dravojevic for Manly and the Titans there. Uh, they both got over. So seven out of eight games had a prop score. Big boy season, we're back, baby. Big boy, big boy season come early this year, Roasty. It has. Um, that's good. So it's, so it's massive. So, like I said, that's going to feature in some of my punts uh, yep. later on. Keep an eye on some of the big boys this week because they're, they're making a comeback, baby. Yep. Love it. Love the big boys. Get around them. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, we are recording this on a Tuesday night. I have to say, Hemi, I just want to bring this up real quick. It's great. On a Tuesday night, we can I can enjoy a beer while I'm doing this. It, well... <laughs> When you said see you next Tuesday, this is not what I had in mind, but um, here we are. But I, I um I need to bring it up. I, I'm staying in a hotel down in Melbourne, and I went and got three beers down at the downstairs bar. So I'm going to have a couple of beers while doing this. Thirty bucks for three beers. Oof, that's half a carton back home, back in the Welcome country, to Mexico. Yeah, mate. Very. That's a, a thumbs down in the um, on Facebook for me. I'm Aren't gonna... you? I think they're just sort of trying to deter a bit of problem problem drinking in the city. So maybe, maybe, but um, that must be what it is. Yeah, yeah. Very disappointing in the Novotel there, but uh, we'll, we'll bounce back. Yeah. Um mate. Let's get into the games, eh? Yeah. Because we've got some uh, massive. Like I said, we've got some massive games coming up over the next three weeks, and it really kicks off. On Thursday night, kicking off in style with the Rabbits v. the Panthers. Uh, Rabbits minus two and a half, overs 41 and a half. I might actually get you, Hemi, if you could, just to have the odds up um, because I, I did did some of these before the teams were announced. I just want to make sure we are correct there. So I've got, yep. I had the Rabbitohs minus two and a half, overs 41 and a half. Minus three and a half. Yep. Rabbitohs are flying. Uh, Panthers they are. dying. Um, yep. Latrell, he. Some news there with a little, little bit of an injury. Went off a training during the week, put a bit of ice on the groin. Apparently on the right yep. gro- right groin. I don't know what's happening with his left groin um, or the middle groin. But, all, um, all functioning well by the sounds. But, yeah, he uh, his quote after the game last week, I have to give that a shout-out, where he said, look over your shoulders, we're coming. Um, yep. Absolutely love that. A L- lot of confidence in this Rabideau side at the moment. Um, and even he's, after the, the news of his injuries broke, 
posted on uh, Instagram. He commented on there saying uh, the Ferrari's just back in the garage for for a little bit. Um, Good gear. Good gear. Love it. You know, he's he's flying with a lot of confidence. But after you know, if he doesn't play, he's he's listed as playing. But if he doesn't play, it's a huge out. We saw last week yeah. with the with the Panthers, Dylan Edwards, him missing. They dropped by twenty cents. Um, and yep. I saw when this they went out the Rabbitohs this week when it was announced that he might be out with an injury or he he was ice in the groin. They moved by twenty two cents. They they went out from a dollar fifty five to a dollar seventy seven. I'm not sure what they're at right now, but oh sixty right now they're back so, in now. That, now so that's right. So that's how much it's wavered just with his news, right? So you know if he's at a hundred percent, like I like the Rabbitohs here. I like them by a lot. But if he's if he's out, if he only plays maybe half a game, or that you know what do they do with him? I'm not sure. Has a yep. big big implication on on how we're punting here, mate. But I'll throw Correct. it to you. I'll throw it to yep. you. What are you what are you playing at? I couldn't agree more with everything you said, Rose. If he plays, uh, the Rabbitohs win this game um, well. Uh, the line's three and a half points. I'd be happy to take him to cover that. Um, yeah, Panthers without Cleary and Luai. Found out a little bit by a very good team last week. Um, and I think the Rabbitohs are in a similar ilk to the Storm at the moment. Very good team as well. So I like the Rabbitohs with a fit Latrell to win. Latrell also to score a try at $2.35. Don't mind that. And I went to him last week, Ilias, to score the first try. Now, he didn't play last week, got ruled out injured. But the last two games he's played where South have been favourites, Ilias has scored the first try of the game. Now, they are the favourites in this game. He's 46 bucks to score the first try in this match. So don't go nuts. That's a little stupid try score at 46 bucks. Love it. Don't mind that at all. Yeah. Um, do you know another thing? I want to give a shout out to Mark Nichols, the uh, the goat, as he's as he's known in uh, Rabbitoh circles. Had a baby during the week. Now I think I brought this up uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, backing a player after they've had a baby. I don't know the exact um, statistics on this, but having a baby increases your chances of scoring a try. I, I believe you know that's just fact. Um, look it up. Uh, he's paying seven fifty. <laughs> paying seven fifty to score here. A big boy up front. We had a lot of big boys score last week. We did. Like I said, this is going to factor in a lot of my punting this week. But seven fifty, I don't mind it. He he has scored against a um, a weakened Penrith side. Uh, yeah. I don't mind him here. Seven fifty. You've got your obvious choices with Latrell, AJ. I saw a great uh, tweet. I think it was from the weekly rub down um, early in the week, which was or when Johnson scored last weekend. It was. Um, he had the death symbol, taxes symbol, and uh, Johnson scoring in the corner. So, and it's true, mate. He, he uh, you, you could just back him all year, but I think he's way too short. Uh, unless you wanted to take him for some value with two plus or something like that, or even uh, an AJ Latrell bet, um, yep. mix them together. But I'm just going to look up front this week. I'm going to go for Mark Nichols. I think I think he's going to get over seven fifty. Celebrate that baby in style, baby. Like it. Very good good punting there, Rosie, and well explained for Thursday night. Mate, um, we head back to North Queensland for the uh, 6 p.m. Friday game. We do. Uh, Cowboys v. Warriors. The Cowboys are massive 19.5 favourites. Over is uh, 47.5. Now, Warriors are five from seven in their last uh, – last, or five from their last seven against the Cowboys. Yeah. I don't uh, don't think that factors in here. I think the Cowboys are going to lift back at home um, with the unfortunate passing of, uh, of Paul Green. I think um, the Cowboys back home are, are going to probably put on a bit of a score here uh, against the Warriors. But um, what are you what are you going to play here, mate? Yeah, I'm probably thinking some similar areas to you there, Roasty. Uh, when they met earlier this year, the Warriors won twenty five twenty four. Warriors had a win last week. Of course, Cowboys had a loss. I think the Cowboys bounce back a win, but I think the Warriors showed enough last week if they can bring that form back over to Queensland at the 19 and a half. So maybe the Warriors at the line roasty, I was thinking. Uh, Cosey, let's make it five in a roasty, uh, $2.35. Uh, I think Nano gets one as well at $1.82. So I think, uh, yeah, probably Cowboys win, as you suggested. I, I like your thinking there. I think they lift for, for Greeny at home, but um, I'd like to think the Warriors are, are better than that line suggests. Yeah, it is a massive, uh, massive line at nine and a half. Um, few stats here, like you said, you mentioned Nenai. He scored in five straight at home, um, up there at Country Bank Stadium. Beautiful. 
nine tries in his last ten games up there. You can't you can't ignore him. You have to you have to throw him in there. Is short, uh, but if you look at guys like um, Talungi, he's also got eight tries in his last eight games at home. Um, so again, can't another guy you can't ignore. Uh, yeah. Look at Scotty Drinkwater. He's had uh, two doubles in his last three games. Can he do it again? I think he can. I think you know they're, they're starting to play. You know, give him a lot of the ball. So. I'm going to back him for for a try scorer, possibly two, um, but I think a little bit of value there. Two dollars, I think it's two dollars and ten cents, maybe, uh, for, yep. for Scotty Drinkwater to get over. But all three have a great chance of getting over against this Warriors side. Uh, I'm probably not with you here on the taking the uh, Warriors with the with the start. I think the Cowboys are going to lift uh, and and put on a bit of a score here uh, for the home crowd, and I'm going to take probably all three of those to score a try. Like it, but I, I, I can see where you're coming from there, Rosie. I'm not definitely not wedded to that. No, line event, no. But um, I can, yeah, I probably, you know, they'll win. They'll win and they'll win it reasonably well. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it is a massive, massive line. And you always got to be Big wary one. of these these massive lines, especially, you know, you never know just what, what sort of yeah. these things do. Like you see the cool Cowboys last. Off. Yeah, that's yeah. right. They, you know, we're looking to the finals. We've already got the game won. Yeah. Um, yeah. They might be up by 12, and like you said, yeah, pull the guy off 10 minutes to go and only win by, you know, 12, 14, something like that. So, But we move on to another cracking Friday night game uh, clash with the, the Broncos taking on the Storm. Um, probably this one and the Panthers, Rabbitohs game are the games of the week, this one. Um, just check this Storm minus four and a half I had. The over's uh, 43 and a half. Yep. Have to go back to 2016 for the last Broncos win. Uh, eleven straight, Ooh. eleven straight yep. for the storm. That is that is daunting. Um, that is daunting. Broncos are at home. They are a different team this year to, to previous years. But if they make, if they're going to make a claim um, for the finals race, Hemi, they need to lift here. And can you see them doing it? I liked what I saw with the storm last week. I think what a big statement that was. Um, you mentioned there the great record at Suncorp, great record against the Broncos. I think they win and cover the line. It's only four and a half points. I think they've got another decent win in them, to be honest with you, this weekend. Uh, swimming against the tide, though, I think uh, my man Selwyn Cobbo, you picked him last week, got a couple of tries. Um, I think he's got one in him up there at Suncorp Stadium. But, uh, yeah, I think um, I think the Storm can... We'll continue. We'll continue winning. Trying, trying to shore up a top four spot. I've gone and had a look at some of these stats for the uh, these last eleven games that the the Storm have won against the Broncos. Um, Broncos have managed, on average, just eleven points in in, the, in that eleven game stretch. Eight of the eleven games have been thirteen plus wins for the Storm. Oh, forty five points total average for each game uh, yep. in, in that eleven, and the Storm this year are averaging twenty seven points per game while the Broncos are the second-worst defensive side in the top eight. So, mm. yeah, I, I see a bit of a score here put on, um, a, a few points. I think I'm going to take the Storm here. I think they cover the four and a half pretty well. Um, I actually don't yep. mind them 13 plus. Uh, I like them. Ooh, $2.90. Um, yeah, I, I think, um, you know. I they have denied about that too, Roasty. The yeah. Plus. I wonder whether they might do another number here. You, you reckon that they can put on a bit more? It's, there's a chance there. Yeah. yeah, I definitely take the line, and I, I, I definitely I, I think have to the, look twice. Yeah, I think I think the lines, yeah, yeah, four and a half is is a safe option, but yeah, I'd probably go just the thirteen plus for a bit of value. You just see yep. him, you know, like I said, I think there's a fair fair bit of points here, and I think um, could see a few try scorers. I haven't actually marked down any try scorers, but I'd, I'd probably go like I don't know, maybe a Justin Olam out out in the edges, two fifty five. Um, yeah, two fifty five. I don't think he's actually scored against the Broncos. You know, could be breaking the duck. Um, but yep. that's that's who I'd probably look at. But I think yep. a Storm get away with a uh, a win here on the on the Friday night. Like it, mate. Uh, Super Sad Day kicks off with a rivalry crack, rivalry clash. Eels v Dogs. Yes, Eels. <sighs> I don't know what to do with this Terrible. side, but uh, they are minus eight and a half favourites here. Uh, Over yep. forty six and a half. Um, three wins in their last thirteen. Uh, the the dogs have got um, against against the eels, uh, but they did get the win earlier this year. Um, Moses, yes. I th- think Moses is back. Is he? Moses has been named. He he. I think he might be on the um, extended right. bench. I need to check here real quick because you know he's he's been named at halfback. He has to pass a fitness test, I believe. 
Okay. So that could be huge. And it's a massive game at Combank Stadium. Para very disappointing last week, but so too were the Dogs. Uh, they were disappointing against uh, the Warriors. I thought that, that, you know, that was a game that they were going to win. I think we both thought that. Yep. And um, But who, which team do you think bounces back this week, Hemi? Well, well, Joey Johns was saying that uh, the Eels are so consistently inconsistent. They'll win a great game and then follow it up with a stink uh, performance. So they've had their stink. I reckon they they bounce back to a good win here. Dogs, pretty disappointing last week against New Zealand. I think the Eels covered the nine and a half, to be honest. Um, Kosi got two tries last week uh, in the big number five jersey. Wonga Blake uh, is that man this week. So I, I was looking towards him as my anytime try scorer at a dollar eighty, um, I think the Eels bounce back, Roasty. That's that's what my gut's telling me. Yeah, I think they do too. I think too strong at home. Mitch Moses is back. They they need to sort of, you know, we spoke about uh, the Broncos making a claim in this in this finals race. I think you know this is the week that the Eels need to do it as well. They can't yep. afford a, afford a loss to a, a bottom four team. Um, if you look at uh, Sevo now, I know you know he's almost a lock for for a try, but. Nine from nine this year in his games. Four from five at Combank. Four tries from five games at Combank. He scored six six in total. Six tries in those in those four games at Combank. Just a freak there when it when it comes to scoring tries. To get some value, you could go either first try, and I might need you just to get some odds here, Emmy. Um, yep. Michael Sivo first try or two plus. Um, I think there's some value there getting Sevo. I think they, you know, spread it out to him and and Sevo first try seven seventy five yeah. roasty. What about two uh, plus? Two plus because I think you know he could three forty five. Uh, yeah, get some, get some couple of tries here. So I definitely back him for for two plus. Another area I was looking at and just have a look at the halves here, mate. Uh, Dylan Dylan Brown and, and Mitch Moses. Dogs yep. have dogs have led in a try to a half or five eight in four of their last five games. So. You know, like this research yeah, this is yep. good. Two seventy for Brown, uh, Mitchy Moses four ten. I think there's some value there with Mitch Moses making a comeback. Um, you know, I, he's you know scored a you know, couple of tries here and there every now and then. But when you come up against this Dogs team, like I said, that's led in a try to a half or a five eight for the last five games. Done a few this year, so I'm going to take Mitch Moses four ten. Don't mind that, Rose. Do I like your reasoning there? And it, it falls into that. Running halves against a rough team theorem that we've yes. been running with. That, I have that's yours, I probably yep. class the dogs generally better than one of those bad teams, but based on how they went last week, they've, they've probably potentially dipped back into that territory. Yeah, and you look at the, the Eels team that lost to them early this year, they actually got flogged by them. Um, yep. But I think, you know, different end of the season, different, uh, it's going to be a different result this week. Yep. Mate, next up, a team aiming to lock in a top four spot. Versus another team just playing for pride this week. Um, Sharkies minus 10.5 favourites against Manly. The overs 46.5. Now, the Sharkies, they have a terrible record against Manly, but they won the last in a high-scoring affair, 34-22. Manly have lost four straight, while the Sharkies are eight from their last nine. A Manly shot here, Hamdog, or is this a danger danger game for the Sharkies? Not at all. No. Sharks 13 plus might just about be their bet of the week here. Two dollars. O two 2 at this stage. The line's at 11 and a half. I think they, they, they cover that. I mean, goodness me, Manly, where were you when I needed you last week to, to keep the Tigers off the bottom of the ladder? Yeah. You served that crap up. So, and the Sharks gave it to the Tigers too. So I think they're, they're primed. They're up and about. They're looking good. The Sharks are a bit of a smoky here. I know Joel Kane uh, went to, um, is a potential threat for the competition. I, I actually you know, there's some ingredients there. I, I probably wouldn't have them as my favourite, but they've they've got you know a lot of good ingredients there to give it a bit of a bit of a crack. I reckon the Sharkies and um, Manly, I think at this stage just cannon fodder, a bit of a rabble at the moment. So um, yeah, thirteen plus and Cade Dykes uh, out the back. He got his first try on the weekend. Um, I don't mind him to get one as well at about two bucks as well. I took him the week before on his debut. Didn't do it. Luckily, like last week, I, I jumped on Lockie Miller. I said he'd score, and he yep. did for me, which was great. I think I, I did say he'd score two, but um, he, he did get over. But, yeah, I, you're right, mate. Some bigger issues here at, at Manly. There's too many off-field distractions. Even you look at this week, today, there was uh, the gang signs and all this sort of stuff. And yep. you, go, you go back six years ago, Andrew Fafita was fined for um, giving uh, 
writing some stuff on his on his wrist for a uh, convicted one punch uh, person who, who end up going to jail. So, yep. you know, there's um, I think there's going to be a lot more to come out of this in the next few days, and I think it's going to cause too big of a distraction for the Manly Seagulls. Um, signs are. Uh, oh, what am I talking about here? Uh, Sharky, yeah, I'm with you. Sharky's 13 plus. I think they they get the big win here. Yep. Um, cooler on the wing is dangerous, but I'm going to go uh, my main man, Lockie Miller. I think he gets it done again. I think he scores another try. Um, could even look at a couple as well, but I'm going to stick with him. He's my man. Uh, yeah, Sharky's 13 plus. Lockie Miller to score for me. That's uh, my bet for this one. Manly lost four in a row. Uh, yeah. Becomes five in a row. Sharks, sharks are very. Sharks have only lost one of their last one, two, three, four, five, nine. Six, seven, eight, nine. They are up and about. They are. Yep. yep. They are firing and, and right at the right end of the season. So correct. Remember, like uh, you know, what was the first first half of the season? They were going win loss, win loss, and we yes. talked about consistency so much. Yep. And now they've just gone, you know, eighth in the last nine. So definitely a danger, danger team in the finals. Keep an eye on them. Absolutely. We're ready for the uh, Saturday night carve up, mate. Oh, yeah. Roosters v. Tigers. Keep it, keep it brief, this one. Roosters are massive 20 and a half point favourites. Overs 45 Remarkable. and a half. Roosters with uh, 19 wins from their last 21 against the Tigers. Yep. Mate, uh, yeah, where do we? Where do you want to start with this one? Well, I'm just doing a quick calculation here, <laughs> and it'll make sense in a second. Um, are you going to add all the try scorers up? For uh, all the, all I've, got the multi. I've got a multi here that will make some sense in a minute. Look, the line's massive. Yep. I think the show, the probably the Chooks 13 plus, which is not like the, the head-to-head prices. Roosters are dollar seven, winks like Tigers yep. nine bucks. That line's massive. I don't know. I, I just why, why can't we play like we played against the Broncos a couple of weeks ago and uh get up and about? I think that the Roosters would be too good. I'd probably look at 13 plus. I'd be scared off a bit by the line just because it's so big. Yep. Um, but at the same time, it could happen if we play how we played against the Sharkies last week. And the Roosters, like the Sharks, coming home with a wet sail, peaking at the right time of the year. Don't want to play them right now, I think, especially if you're a, a, a lowly team like the Tigers. Now, one of the big talking points about the Tigers, as always, is all the players that used to play for them that now have left the club. And there's a lot of them playing yep. for the Roosters. James Tedesco, very short, sixty-six to score at any stage. Paul Momorowski, really like this bet to score at any time, $2.35. And then the other player is Matt Lodge at seven dollars seventy-five. So if you were to multi all the X score against the Tigers, which would be so Tigers, it just happens all the time. Um, you're getting thirty-four dollars. So might be worth a little stewy dive over there. Um, at least you get to cheer for some Tigers players, I guess. <laughs> that were Tigers at some stage. Um, so yeah, I was thinking that. How about the Center of Excellence this week getting printed up, and they have the see the thing on the lockers there, and had like a, a tribute to Benji Marshall. Oh, mate, I posted that up, and I actually got hammered because I was pointing it out. But yeah, it's terrible. It's just, I mean, come on. Anyway, for, for anyone that didn't see it, they've they've put up a uh, what is it like a walking wall where all the Tigers players and give, give a all bit of all the greats, bit of a rundown on each one. Yep, who's the greatest West Tigers player to ever play the game? Benji Marshall, and they've got him saying that he's won a premiership at the Dragons. His only premiership that he's ever won with your club, and you're giving it away to the Dragons. Terrible. But that is so West Tigers, isn't it? It is. It is. So, look, I, as always, as a proud West Tigers, in fact, they sent me something this week. They sent me a pin to tell me to get around me for being a member for seven consecutive years. I've actually been a member for longer, but I had a bit of a break, I think, maybe when I moved overseas. But, um, yeah, I'm a proud West Tigers Man, I hope I'm wrong, but I just I, I think the Roosters are probably going to do a bit of a number on us here, and it, I feel like they'll rub a bit of salt into the wounds with some some ex Tigers. Mate, I think I'll send you a badge, um, maybe to check yourself into some m- mental <laughs> institution for being a West Tigers fan for seven straight years. Yeah. But yep, mate. Yeah, so thanks I'll, for your support. With <laughs> <laughs> mate, support and mates. Um, yep. So Ali, very short odds, but if you look at it, he's scored in five straight games. Um, yeah. Definitely, you know, have to keep an eye on him. Tupu, 30, nine, yeah. so short. Tupu, he's got uh, 16 tries in 12 games against the Tigers. Very short as well. But I think if you put them, put them both in a multi, $2.05, it's worthy of, a you know, you know just a bet on itself. Maybe yep. throw in Roosters 13 plus to get a little bit a little bit extra there. It's low, but it's safe for me. Um, I like Suwali 2 plus. Another guy I like, and you you mentioned him before, uh, Matt Lodge. Uh 
up front, but his partner, Jared Reed Hargraves, is $8 yep. to score any time. I think, you know, we see a lot more props, like I spoke about at the start of the show. Uh, props are back. Big boys are back. So I like they Jared Reed Hargraves. Tigers, they let in both props to score last week. Could they do it again? Could we see Lodge and Jared Reed Hargraves do probably. it again? Could do I it. think probably, yeah. Uh, Roosters had, yeah, like I said, both both did it last week. So I think it's a sign. So I'm going to get on Jared Weir Hargraves at eight dollars to score at any time. That's uh, that's my tip here. But I'm with you. Roosters thirteen plus. Need a twenty and a half. Yeah, you just never know what's going to happen. Again, they they get um, Asians, six, all that stuff comes in roasty. Sixteen, eighteen points in front. They pull a couple of guys. Who knows? Yeah. So um, I'll stick with thirteen plus there. Yep. Mate, we're on to our Sunday saviors. Uh, my team, and I'm back with them, baby. Dragons. Um, Favorites, favorites against the Titans, even after their their uh, the Titans huge win and the and the Dragons lost last week. Minus four and a half favorites, overs forty six and a half. Uh, I think this could actually be a bit of a cracking game. Um, both yeah. both teams can score some points. Titans have won their last three in this matchup, but I'm I'm back on the Dragons bandwagon, mate. Uh, I think they, yeah, they look, get the win here, four and a half. I think they cover that. I I gotta say, go you Dragons. Which I don't say often on this show, but we need this as a as the Tigers to, to avoid our first ever spoon as a joint venture. Um, I'm a bit worried though. I think Titans at that price, uh, based on how they played last week, you know, you guys got done by the Raiders as well. I reckon the Titans potentially could win. Hope I'm wrong. Gonna gonna go with the Dragons because I need them to win to, so we can avoid the spoon. I'm gonna pinch one of yours from last week, and I've used him a few times this year. Bo Firma, I like him at the price here, four dollars ten anytime try scorer. Um, that might be my bet in this game as opposed to a head-to-head at all. I think I probably might just go one out with him. Um, but you're right. This actually has got the makings of a pretty good game, Sunday Arvo. Yeah, it's, it's funny, like two you know, pretty pretty shit teams when it comes to the, the season, but yep. um, could actually provide some entertainment and a little bit of value yep. here um, on on Sunday morning. I'm going to take Dragons leading a couple of big boys over the weekend against the Raiders. They're leading Ryan Sutton off the bench and Hudson Young as well. Uh, so I'm going to take Tino. He's back. Tino for Sulma Awi. He's back for the Titans. Oh, yeah. He's eight dollars as well. Score any time. I think he's he's prime, ready to go, uh, firing. But again, they want to avoid this spoon, don't they? So they'll be they'll be playing. Yep. Eight bucks for, is pretty good for me for a big fella. Don't mind that. Don't mind what your hair's at, Rosie. Big boy season. So let's get around him. Dragons minus four and a half. Tino any time for me there. Now finish off the uh, the round. We have a cracker match. Two great teams. Knights v <laughs> Raiders to finish it off. But uh, Raiders minus 10.5. Overs 44.5. Ricky's back, baby. He's going to be back for this one after a uh, getting the win off the lounge last week. I like that pose, Rosie. Very sharp. Yeah. Uh, Raiders with a slight chance of finals. They need to win their final three games. Maybe some results go their way. But, you know, they, if they win here, they put some pressure on on like the Roosters and, and the Broncos for them to win. Uh, now, Knights have a... A debutante here. I hope I pronounce his name right. It's Christian uh, Mappapalini um, in the centres there for, for the Knights. Apologies if I've just butchered that. Knights a little bit of a shambles this week. They've had players drop. Bradman Best, Tawala's gone down. Knights uh, with uh, Ponga and Man in the toilets, all that sort of rubbish. Celebrating their new house. Celebrating the new house, as you do. Mate, I like the Raiders here, but can they cover the 10 and a half? Yeah, I'm with you like the Raiders as well. Knights have lost eight of their last nine home games. Um, how's that? Oh, remember, being there. And you started the season so well as well. Bit of hope at the start of the year, 2-0. and Yeah. stinkathon ever since. Crazy. Um, Raiders have got everything to play for. I think they win. Not sure about the line, to be honest. Got the markings of one that maybe they could make a little bit of a meal of, but I don't think to the point of losing. I reckon they can, they can win it, but um, I'm not overly confident by how much. Uh, we're going to go Hammy Goodwin's patented running six against the rough side theorem, and uh, we're going to get around Jack White at $2.30. You love Isn't Jackie White, too. Is he, he's like the, is he like the marker for this this theorem? He's he's like the, the yeah, guy he you is. always fall back on, isn't it? Yeah. He's, a, he's, he's not a bad candidate. Him, Munster, yep. is another one I don't mind. Um, you know, even Dewey at times. Yep. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that's, that's where I'm thinking for this one, Roasty. No, love it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I think the Raiders, 
I think they cover the 10 and a half. I think they get it done. They've only won two from their last six against the Knights, but yeah, Knights are shambles. I think there's a lot more going on there than what we know. Uh, Hudson Young, he scored in his last two against the Knights. He's got four, tri- four tries in his last seven games this year. He's killing it. $3.50 to score. Yep, uh, I think like I lo- that a lot. Yeah, I like like him. How about this? A young double. Hudson and Dominic Young, both forever young. $6.50. Forever Are you young. Go, go, I want to bet that. on Dominic and Hudson <laughs> Young. No? Oh, dear. You're on report again, mate. Yeah, I am. Get yeah. the timestamp out. I'll take it. And uh, what better place to cheer that multi home than uh, one of the one of the pubs in Young as well? If you're out in that part of the world, go and get around at a little Stewie Diver, enjoy your afternoon. Well, Shop they, local. Have to be a uh, a royal hotel or a commercial because there's there's a royal and a commercial in almost every country country local town. So absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, I yeah. Melbourne, Cameron. go and watch it at the, at the Young and Jackson. <laughs> uh, I, I think yeah, like I said, Raiders here to cover the ten and a half. Uh, Hudson Young, 350, some value there. If you, you want to look at um, the debutant as well, I, I won't pronounce his name, try and, and get it wrong again. But, um, you know, a debut, uh, a player on debut has a good strike rate. So um, have a look at him. But yeah. A young um, player and a player on debut. Oh, mate, it's add them all three together. You're just getting great odds. Have a Stewie Diver on that one. The, the youth multi. Mate, uh, let's finish it off with our Zinger multi. What do you got? Let's do it. All right, here's what I'm thinking this week, and I'm due. I'm due funny race. I've had a couple of rough weeks. Uh, Wonga Blake. I spoke about the fact that uh, playing on the same wing as Kosi. Um, I think he can get a couple uh, against the. I think he'll get a try against the Dogs. About a dollar ninety getting there. Selwyn Cobo, he's back, baby. I, I still like him, even against the tide, against the storm. I think the storm win, but I think Cobo gets one two bucks. Kosi, two dollars thirty five. I spoke about him. Uh, picking one up against the Cowboys as well. He's been good at getting consolation tries this season, $2.35. And in that same ga- game, Jeremiah Nanai at $1.82. That together will get you $16.35. A little bit, uh, maybe a- accounting for inflation. That's about the price of a Zinger box these days. Mate, I can't fault that. I like that a lot. Um, me, I'm you know going so close last week. I'm, I'm gonna, going a little bit safe this week, but I think, yep. I, I think I've got it done. Joseph Swali. Going for six straight, I think. Uh, I think he gets over. My man yep. Lockie Miller at the Sharkies uh, got his got his day, uh, got his uh, a try last week. I think he gets it again. Mike Sevo, Mister Combank, he uh, he gets over for me. And then I'm going Hudson Young, forever young in the uh, in the final game of the week. Try and get nail it. It's twelve dollars and thirty eight cents that one. So a little bit lower, nice, safer, but I you know I need to nail it. I need to get it. Get some bragging rights back. Yeah, you, you do, Roasty. But I do like it. I like where your head's at. I like where your head's at with a lot of those bets this week, Roasty. Um, you've done your homework. You've seen them all right at the moment. So, you know, give them a bit of strength. 100%. Mate, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, I will get an early bath, early to bed for you tonight, Roasty, I, I assume. Or are you going to continue your um, drinking overpriced beers in the CBD there? Well, the, I can't, can't afford too many. I'll, yeah. uh, I think I think they'll do me tonight. Thirty bucks. Why not? Why not immerse yourself? There is a little kernel down the road there. You go and get yourself a little bit of a taste of a zinger. It's been oh, a while mine actually. One, so. Yeah, yeah. No, it's normally yeah. normally Friday night special. The girls get takeaway, so I'll go and get myself a, a zinger box on a Friday. Try and boost boost the uh, the what do you call it? The just manifest your zinger box multi. Hundred percent. So that's what I do yep. on Fridays. But um, I'll, I'll go for a look. I'll go for a walk and see if I can get some dinner. But mate, right. well, you stay you stay safe, mate. You Out too, there. punters. All the best as always. Gamble responsibly and yes. uh, enjoy your enjoy your footy. Look after yourselves, uh, but uh, yeah, and each other. Enjoy your footy and Hemi. All the best, mate. Look after yourself, Rosie. That's the most important I thing. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, mate.